Hey guys, and welcome to the third episode of the Salahuddin uh, campaign. Next ep episode is called The Horns of Hatin. Hatin? Well, you, you can read it yourself. <laughs> Let's see what they say. Galilee, year 20 of my capture. Last night we rode into a sandstorm. The men dared not open their mouths to speak. We clung to the necks of horses or camels while waves of sand rose and fell around us. The Saracens have pursued a large force of Europeans into the desert. The Crusaders carry with them a relic, a piece of the true cross. Capturing this artifact will deal a severe blow to the morale of Saladin's Christian foes. I asked Saladin why we were here, miles from civilization and water. He said, to bring crimson death to the blue-eyed enemy. The huge Crusader army has halted to make it stand beneath the two peaks called the Horns of Hatton. At the Horns is only a single pool of water, and Saladin controls it. At night the Saracens ride out and extravagantly pour out vessels of water into the sand within sight of the first crazed Europeans. It is cruelty worthy of a crusader. All right, so I guess we're here to capture a relic. Capture the piece of the true cross, a relic, and return it to the horns of Hattin, marked by flags. Note, there is precious little stone in the desert. You will have to rely on the strength of troops, not castles or walls or towers. All right. In this case, the best defense is a good offense. There are not many fish in the Lake of Tiberius. In Lake Tiberius, support your economy with farms. As with any relic, your enemy may garrison the piece of the true cross in a monastery. Beware the Templars and Hospitallers. They are your most dangerous opponents. Note, there is precious little... Okay, that's the same note on the both, both sides. So let me just see here. Hospitallers, Knight Templar, Jerusalem, British. All right. The European murderer shall die in this desert. The European murderer shall die in this desert. All right. We have a lot of population, but our population is in one mangonel and spears and uh, spearmen. Not sure how I feel about that. And they keep giving us these terrible lumber camps. What the hell, man? Ooh. So we're just gonna make a new one right away. Uh, we could even buy our way straight to cast stage, maybe. If I do this, one, two, three. But there's not much stone, they say. But uh, well, let's go straight to cast stage so we can get a second TC quicker. I think that makes sense. Although we are very low on villagers. And we don't have any scout or anything to actually look around. But so we'll just have to deal with it. I don't really want to send the units out to eat. Wait. Oh, we have. Oh! Me and my great minimap awareness when I'm in, uh, in uh, talking at the same time. So we have gold down here. I wonder why they're giving us two bases. Wait, where are we supposed to bring the relic again? Here? Oh. Probably there. Alright. Fair enough. Uh, let's send these out to scout. Because why not? Last, game, last mission I made a mistake of not scouting soon enough, so we ended up wasting a lot of time. I mean, the map doesn't seem too big. We already see a lot of the map. Oh. For Jerusalem military here. Red with some units here. Yeah, these will, uh, will be just used for scouting, I guess. For scouting purposes. We actually have two TCs. Maybe we shouldn't make more TCs. Oh, here is yellow. But where's the relic? That's what I want to locate. Would be nice to know where it is exactly. I don't think we have to go water on this map. 
Oh, they have a Teutonic, nice. So they probably have a castle around somewhere. Oh, Cavaliers even. Damn. Oh, okay, I guess we found the relic. Okay. Yeah, that's probably a relic we're gonna have to capture. I did not like that they had Cavaliers already. I mean, but I guess they won't be remaking too many of them since there's still few Lich. Yeah, let's just uh, make a TC right away. This base will be used only for gold, I guess. So you don't really have to make many more builds there. We can add some farms as well as as well, but besides that, I don't think we'll be using that base much. Uh, do we have any more gold in our area here? Do I dare to delete the walls on the left side? Let's scout first. Okay, we don't want to delete them. Especially with the type of units they already had, like Cavaliers and stuff. Don't want to mess with that yet. Oh, night incoming. Actually, I shouldn't be selling gold. Doesn't seem like we have too much access to gold here. And now we're out of food. No deer or anything this time. Yeah, they did say rely on farms. Makes sense. Yeah, I think we're gonna stop uh, selling or buying food now. Focus on uh, just getting, building up food accounts. What? Found our camp? No, you didn't. Liar. <laughs> now, do I want to upgrade pikemen? I don't know if we get... Can we go to Imperial? Oh, we can't go to Imperial this game either. Then I guess we'll probably be doing the pikemen upgrade. Since we already have so many of them. Probably not skirms though. But yeah, pikemen. Useful. Yeah, I was gonna stop doing that. Saladin! What? I believe we have some unfinished business. Wonder what's on this side on this. Can we get there even? Oh, I wonder if we transport there. If there's anything there. They keep talking to me and then nothing happens. I'm like expecting to be attacked or something whenever they talk like that. I'm gonna make a dock. We can add some fish and we can see. Oh! Here's Reynald. What's up, man? How's it going? Get out of here! Hope he doesn't start hitting the wall. I guess it doesn't matter whether we kill him or not. Don't think we will win the mission or anything just by killing him anyway, so... Just gonna play it safe, build up our economy. Scout, maybe there's gold on the if we transport over here. On the right side, since there's a lot of water there and a lot of space. If this base is exposed, if they start attacking this, then I feel like uh, our lack of gold might be problematic. But are we able to just circumvent everything and just go like straight through here to get the relic? I mean, it's so close, right? If we can just ignore every single unit of the enemy besides those we meet, might be able to get away with uh, being a little bit sneaky. <clears throat> I want to do trade car and uh, trade cart transport. So if they don't attack yet, I'm not ready yet. This is useless population. Probably get rid of those. Uh, outside of that, outside of that, I don't know what else. We'll just wait for our economy to build up so we can get some strong units. But yeah, we're gonna do pikemen upgrade, I think. Just makes sense since we have so many units already of the pikemen. As long as they're as long as they're not attacking us down here, we'll have a, a lot of gold. Let's see, mirror is cool here. Ooh. We got big forces. 
Oh, yes, there is gold. Nice. <clears throat> Not that gold is what we need right now, but that will allow us to make different types of units. So what units do we want to go for? I'm thinking a mix of Camel Knight, Crossbow maybe? Yeah, maybe, I don't know, I don't know yet. Send those over. Yeah, we can still use the market a little bit then. Speed up things. Thing, yeah, like I said, I'm wondering if we can just sneak here and try to grab the relic like that and just ignore everything on the right side. At least that's what we're gonna try to do. Since they just have like so many units just sitting there. Hopefully they won't like come once once I delete a wall, you know. Oh, I should have done horse call a long time ago. I hope that once I delete the wall to go out, they won't like just suddenly all everyone go to the opening, you know. We should make a stone gate in that case instead. I think we're gonna try for that. Make a second stable. And archer ranges. Can we not even make a stone wall in this? Oh, they're not allowing us to make a stone gate. Damn it. Alright. Let's gotta deal with what we have. So we'll make some camels. We'll make some. Uh, let's delete these guys. We'll make some camels. We'll make some crossbows. Make a few knights, and then we'll try to wait. We need to make a monastery as well to get a monk to take the relic. And then we'll see if we can just snag the relic and run away again. I'm just gonna abuse the market. Even though we are kind of getting low on gold now. <coughs> of course, we'll need the monk. Eh, can we start the leading wheels already? Do we have. But we don't have like an economy to back a push up. And I don't know if these units will be enough. I highly doubt it. Uh, let's do a finished upgrades first. And then we'll have a go. Just delete this fishing shit. Okay, we get the mark. Well, well, we'll try with this. Try and see how it goes. I want to close the gap right away after we go out, in case they start storming in. And oh, actually, we need the upgrades. But after that, after we <coughs> go out, I'm gonna wall it, close it again, and it will just open if we return safely. Yeah, I really wish I did these farm upgrades before we started farming like, so heavily. Uh, Alright, I guess we have to can just make a second blacksmith while we're at it. Because why not? This is taking forever, man. Uh, the relic is super close. I mean, if we can just run here and grab the relic, then it would be pretty sweet. That would seem kind of a good. Oh, the second we delete it. All right, so far so good. Oh no! Uh, stop saying oh no. See if we can convert that guy. Do you stop chasing that knight? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need more monks. 
can already tell that for sure. Feels like he almost focused the monk. Don't take the monk, please. Oh, here comes a lot of units. Should have done this as well. Okay, I'm starting to feel like we'll definitely need a bigger army. Oh, they even bring all the Mangonos. Oh. Okay, well, we'll need a bigger army. Actually, we are trading pretty well here. I don't know why. They don't have, they don't have too many upgrades. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, why am I not producing here? What's wrong with me? I was blue inside. Oh. We chopped open this. Monk is still going strong. <gasps> oh, it's still alive. This monk stays alive the rest of the game. He's a hero monk. The monk that we deserve. I don't want to make from this stable. Yeah, we need a couple of knights. But I feel like we've cleaned most of their armies. Oh, all right. It wasn't meant to be. It was not meant to be. Let's delete these because I don't want to get sent there when I try to create units. Let's make some knights, some more pikes. Let's just make another monk as well because why not? All right, I feel like we've cleaned up most of their units though. Took good fights with our uh, pikemen. So I don't know how much more they're gonna send. I feel like we might be able to just run in and now uh, and <coughs> snag the mango now soon. Oh no. God, I could stop saying oh no. Well, we lost both amongst again. Oh! This bad boy! You're gonna go down, man! Reynald de Chatelon. Chatelon, or whatever. Don't appreciate you in these lands. You're gonna die, man. Get wrecked, scrub. Let's see what he says. I cannot. <laughs> Damn right, you cannot. Wait, how do this is the third mission. How many missions are there in this? If he's already dead? I thought he was supposed to be like the main boss, so to say, here. But now I feel like we're kinda of, we're kinda of broken the their military. Now we're gonna try and snag the relic. As long as we just take out their There are mangonels. Those are the biggest threat. Yeah. No, I feel like we just... They don't really have much anymore. Oh, we have to destroy the walls though. British advance to Castle Age. Got him. What? They took our monk again. I wonder if they have it in this built in that they're gonna focus target the monks, I mean. Their monks are in the area. That's even possible to uh, script. Can convert this Teutonic Knight. They tend to be strong. Never mind. All right, we got the relic. The Crusaders' fate will be lost. We must return to our camp immediately. Oh, we got conversion. All right. Uh, the thing is, our camp is so close. <laughs> it would be much worse if the relic was like down here or something. Here, the camp is just 
just up here, you know? Alright, but at least this one I feel like we didn't spend much longer than we had to. And I don't think they will be able to stop this relic from getting in to the to where you want them to go. Alright. Oh, they've been raiding us here. Little did I know. I suck at looking at the minimap when I am talking and everything, because I think about what to say and speak English and everything, you know? It's a little bit hard to multitask and uh, talk English at the same time. Uh, not talk English, I mean talk, look at the minimap at the same time. All the time, you know? My apologies for being a little noob. Alright, I guess that was our main mission, so... We did it, no? We have captured the European's precious relic. Yeah. My heart weeps for the Crusader no, infidels. We have captured it. Our heart weeps. Alright, so there we go. Victorious. Let's see if there was anything special. Well, they all remained in feudal age. Well, blue. <laughs> they all remained in feudal age, he said, as only one of them remained in feudal age. Blue remained in feudal age, so I guess like the. When I scouted, I saw Cavalier, Teutonic Knights and everything, but I guess they they didn't really have the buildings or tech to remake them, so it was only what they spawned in with at start. So once we cleared out their first wave, uh, I feel like uh, they didn't really have a follow-up. That's cool, that's cool. Let's uh, turn this up and listen to what they have to say. The fighting was fierce. The Crusaders had to conquer or die. Mostly, they died. Saladin has treated his prisoners well, providing them with ice water from the mountains and comfortable tents. For the first time in years, I have been able to speak to fellow countrymen, but I am unsure what to say to these invaders. Not all of the prisoners were treated so royally. Renald de Chatillon was captured here, and oh, fulfilling he killed, his vow, man. Saladin sliced off Renald's head oh. with his own scimitar. Nice. How ironic that it was only after the Crusaders entered their land that the citizens were transformed into the people that we set out to destroy. I feel like this guy uh, is slowly turning into a Saracen guy himself. <clears throat> He's like realizing how uh, good kind of Saladin is. I don't know. Anyways, that was nice. Let's see. So yeah, there is the Siege of Jerusalem. I don't know how many more missions there are, but... Siege of Jerusalem. Okay, that's gonna be the next one. It's probably gonna be a sim somewhat similar to Paris, except with a few less uh, oh no's, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, that was um, that was the third episode of uh, the Saladin Saladin campaign. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.